Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I've got 27 bread and butter bolos for you guys. Those are items that I have sold for $35 or less that I have picked up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, bulk buys, stuff like that. Um, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it's sold for. And these are items that that you can look for when you're outsourcing. Most of these items typically sell quickly. Um, if they don't, I usually tell you. But uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let's get started. Oops. I don't know why I hit. I hit. I hit in broadcast <laughs> instead of screen share. I'm Luba or Zoob. I don't know how to say it. It's Z O O B. These are building toys. I lotted these wheels up in sets of four and put quantity three. Somebody bought all three for a total of $21.60, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this cat's meow. Um, it's a village. What you're looking for on the cat's meow is the little cat, and it'll be somewhere on the item. Um, this one's sitting on steps. The cat's meow can be bread and butter or it can be a bolo. Look for the Halloween items. I was hoping when I bought these two big boxes at a garage sale that I was going to get the Halloween items. Unfortunately, they were not in there. I've found a lot of bread and butter, but it is selling really, really well. And I mean, I've got pennies in each one based on what I paid for the whole lot. So definitely a great buy, a lot of work, but a great buy. The next item is this ham roast holder fork that I picked up at a thrift store for a buck or two. And I sold this for $30. It sold pretty quick, actually. And I was debating at the store whether or not to get it. So I'm glad I picked it up. And the buyer paid shipping on that. These Robert Graham came from a friend of my husband's. They were doing an a, a estate clean out. And for some reason, they left out a few things and called my husband to come get them, which uh, I don't know if you guys remember that Patagonia vest was one of the items. I really wonder what all went in the dumpster. Ah, I'm like, why didn't you call us before? But anyway, super thankful for the items we did get. Um, my husband said they were kind of laughing at these pants, which is funny because I'm like, I saw Robert Graham and I'm like, Bolo, I know the shirts do really well. The pants, I sold these for $25. So not a huge Bolo, but you know, I got them free. So uh, $25 plus shipping is fantastic. The next item I sold is this Doc McStuffins bag. I picked this up at a garage sale for a couple bucks and it sold for $18 in the buyer paid shipping. This little guy, I cannot remember where I got him, probably at a garage sale for a buck or less, and I sold it for $13.50 in the buyer paid shipping. It's a vintage Ensco 1980 mouse on a mouse trap. I don't know what it's made out of, um, but it's heavy. The next item I sold is this Disney Store Alice in Wonderland coffee mug. I think I picked this up at a garage sale for a couple bucks. It sold for $17.10 in the buyer paid shipping. Dr. Seuss tag books. Um, these are by Lee Frog and they work with a pin. Um, I have sold a lot of these. Uh, I did take a best offer on this of $12 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are cake toppers. And these are like a baby girl and a baby boy and rattles. They're kind of not in the best shape, but um, these items do sell. Sometimes they sell for a little more. These condition was not great. If these would have been in great condition, I would have sold them for much more. But I took, um, actually they sold for the sale price of $13 and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. I believe these were given to me at a garage sale. I bought a bunch of this type of stuff and I think they threw these in. This Boyd's Bear sold for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. And you know, people think I'm crazy for picking up Boyd's Bear plush, but I do pretty good with it. And I'm usually happy with the margins. Some of them are long tail, but this one was really cute. It's dressed like a cat. It's uh, got on like a Halloween costume. So yeah, 20 bucks. I probably paid a buck for it. The next item is this Build-A-Bear Kits Snowflake Refill Pack. And it's like a little mini bear that you stuff. And it's a kit. 
and I sold this for $22.50 and the buyer paid shipping and I got this at a garage sale, I believe for 50 cents. These cartoon noses, they're like little black, uh, I don't know what they're made out of. Um, is it like a foam? Not foam, what do you call that? Oh, I can't think of what it's called. It's not foam, is it? Help me out in the chat or in the comments, you guys. But you know, you squeeze them and they're just like, I don't know, like a sponge, sponge kind of. Uh, but these came from the free, I got it free garage sale and I sold these for $13.50 buyer paid shipping. This I picked up at a garage sale, I think for like 50 cents or 25 cents. It's just a vintage Cinderella print toddler pillowcase. It's faded and old. And I just had a feeling it would sell. And it did. I sold it for $11.40 and the buyer paid shipping. These drinking glasses I got at a garage sale. I, I want to say I had a couple bucks in all of them. And I sold these for $30 and can't read my writing, 10 cents. And the buyer paid shipping. These did take a little bit longer to sell, which I figured they would because it's kind of like, you have to wait on the right buyer for something like this, but they've got the Scottish lass on them, like the dancing girl and they're super cute. And it was a set of four. Wade England miniature figures. Hit and miss on these. Um, I always pick them up if I see them, if I can get them cheap. This set is like the mermaid, the seahorse, um, the walrus and the boat and the bear. And I took a best offer of $21 for these and the buyer paid shipping. And I picked these up in a lot of Wade England miniatures. So I got them pretty cheap. I probably had a buck or less in this. Head Girl uh, Universal Studios uh, Harry Potter pin. This came from my bulk buy 344 pounds of jewelry. And I sold this for $13 in the buyer paid shipping. This also came from that bulk buy and I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. It's Tim Burton's Disney Nightmare Before Christmas bracelet. And this is really funny because I didn't catch this until I was doing this video. Um, it says lot of three beanie buddies. <laughs> ah, not beanie buddies, beanie babies. And I probably had buddies in my mind because I am Bolo buddies. But anyhow, I'm so used to typing buddies. But these are just Beanie Babies. I think these sold probably because they um, somebody bought them for like an Easter basket or something like that. That's how I advertise them. Um, Easter, because it's two bunnies and a little lamb. And I sold these for $18 in the buyer paid shipping. And those were also I think those actually came from an estate sale. Victoria's Secret Pink. Anytime I see yoga pants, even though I hate selling clothes and I'm getting out of clothes, I will pick up Victoria's Secret yoga pants. They sell fast. Um, for me, anyway. I sold these for $23. I picked them up for like a buck or two. And the buyer paid shipping. This wig came from a bulk buy, um, a bunch of Barbie stuff, and I took a best offer of $19 on this. So anytime I see vintage Barbie wigs, I pick those up. More cats meow. This was a lot of five, and I sold these for $31.50 and the buyer paid shipping. So what I did on these, these all said Mount Vernon, Ohio on the back. So I made it just a lot of Mount Vernon, Ohio um, cats meow items. And you can see where the cat is in each one. And that's cat's meow. This Barbie, um, typically your pink box Barbies are not going to go for big money. Some of them do. So definitely look them up. But this is a bread and butter item. I picked it up at a garage sale for a couple bucks. And I sold it for $19 plus shipping. This I picked up at a garage sale. I believe I paid $3 for these. I actually got three of them. This one, the box was damaged. So I took $27 plus shipping for this one. It's an OSU college cheerleader and it's a boy and it's vintage. This Rampage the Movie figure, George the Gorilla. I sold him for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. Someone actually gave this to me free at a garage sale. They were closing up and I was looking at the toys 
And they're like, do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want this? So this was one of my free items. The next item is this baby afghan cloth blanket. It's for like needlepoint. And I picked this up at a thrift store. I want to say I paid like a buck for it. And I sold this really fast for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. Halloween masks, I usually pick them up if they're cheap. I believe this one was a dollar from a garage sale. It's a vintage Halloween costume old man scary mask. And I took a best offer of $15 and the buyer paid shipping. And the last item I picked up at a thrift store, I believe this was $2. It's vintage. It's just like this girl and some animals. It's a really cute print, but it's a flat sheet and a pillowcase. And I just called it crafters cutters. And it sold for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you got my bread and butter type of video. I have a whole series on bread and butter bolos. So definitely go check that out. If you want to see my big money bolo videos, they typically say big money bolos in the title. And then I also have category bolo videos and featured seller videos. So the category videos would be like bathroom bolos, Halloween bolos, Christmas bolos. Um, I think I have a Build-A-Bear. Oh my gosh, I have so many category bolo videos. Um, new old stock, see, as seen on TV, made in Japan. So these are great ways to learn items to look for. I know I have puzzles, board games, toys, mugs, tins. They're all coming to me now, cookbooks. <laughs> So go check out that playlist. There are tons of videos and they're all relevant, still relevant. So, um, and the featured seller videos are people that I feature from my Facebook group. And if you're not in my Facebook group, definitely go down below into the description of the video. There is a link to join and I'll see you guys at the next video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.